I see the comments and requests and I will act on them. Please remember to follow Geography World channel on Instagram and Facebook using the link shown on the screen. Please remember to like, share with your friends and subscribe. For person wishing to contact me privately, you may email me at geographyworld100 at gmail.com. The link will be posted below. Welcome back to Geography World channel where today we'll be looking at fishing in the Caribbean. Now what is fishing? Fishing is the activity of catching fish either for food or as a sport. Now where, where, where are fish located? Now fish are abundant in the Caribbean seas because of the extensive reefs and mangrove covered coastline that we have in the Caribbean. So every Caribbean island has the potential to participate in fishing. However, we have Caribbean islands that participate more or commercialize fishing as others they only participate in small scale fishing. Now, why is fishing important? Why is it an important industry? Because it provides food for us to consume as well as it's, it's a tradition in the Caribbean. So, fishing is actually coming back from the days of the Arawak and the Kalinagos. This was on the economic activities that they used to ensure that they survived. So, it's a tradition. It's something that has been passed on from one generation to the next. Now, what are some benefits of fishing? It adds nutrients to the Caribbean dishes. Right, so with fishing, we can do fishing so many different ways and we can add other um, ground provisions with it to make a very nutritious dish. It creates food security. It is in very high demand and it basically helps alleviate poverty. Now, the fishing industry creates jobs directly and indirectly, and it also provides raw material for other industries. Let us look at some of the fishing methods used in the Caribbean. The first one is seining. And this basically involves a net that is kept vertical in the water by corks that are floating on the surface. Now, now with the, the net vertical, two boats draw the net together encircling a school of fish and the net is then dragged onto the boat or to the shore and the trap fishes are removed. Now we use this method to catch fishes like sharks and kingfish, right? So this is a picture showing you the seining method. Another method used is known as trolling. And trolling is used in places like Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados where fishing has become more commercialized with the introduction of fleets of trolls. Now, Trawling involves a cone-shaped net being dragged through the water by a large boat called a trawler. Now fishes become trapped in the narrow end of the net and is drawn up the boat. Trawling is often used to catch fishes that live near to the seafloor, such as shrimps and snappers. So we use trawling to catch the nice snappers that we like and shrimps. Now another method that is used is the fish pot method. And this involves a fish pot that is weighed down to the sea floor in a vertical position. Now the fish pot, it contains bait for the fishes. So what happens is that the fishes will smell the bait and become attracted to the scent. And once the fishes swim through the entrance, the pot is designed in a way that the fishes cannot escape once they are inside. So the fish pot method is basically used to catch fishes like snappers and jackfishes. And this is a common method used especially for small um, fishing done on a small scale. 
Now we have another method called a long line and the long line is where we have up to 1000 hooks that are towed behind a boat and it's used to basically catch tuna, swordfish, groupers and sharks. So a boat carrying 1000 hooks behind it and the fishes will just hitch onto the hooks because they have baits on them. Now let us look at how fishes are marketed in the Caribbean. Now in the Caribbean we have fish that are basically sold locally. They have the fishermen they went out and they brought back the fish and right along the harbour side or the coastline they will sell to a middleman who will then sell the fishes to the retailers or the restaurant owners. So this is known as small scale marketing and this is usually done in like many of the Caribbean villages or, or communities. So for example, this is practiced in Jamaica, St. Vincent, Dominica and St. Lucia. However, in places like Guyana, they have wholesale markets and they develop these. So companies such as Guyana Food Processor and the Georgetown Seafood and Trading Company, they buy the fish from the fishermen and then they basically preserve the fishes right now let us look at some of the ways in which fishes are preserved now fishes are preserved in the caribbean by salting which is very very common in barbados where they add salt to it so like the salt fish would be an example here you have fish that is smoked they fillet the fish or they freeze it and freezing is the most common type of preserving let us look at some of the trends in the fishing industry now processing the fish is still a challenge for a lot of caribbean islands because they don't have adequate amount of storage areas to actually store the fishes and the because the industry is directly linked to the tourism industry it is very profitable because a lot of tourists when they come they want to try all the different types of fish products or the fish dishes that we have so this is a plus now let us look at some of the challenges that are faced by the fishing industry so the first one is overfishing now even though fish is a renewable resource if it is not properly managed it means that we won't have it the fish won't be able to reproduce quickly enough to basically suffice the population so overfishing is a major challenge we have pollution and these are both from the sea um the river and land and this is where we have like oil sewage and waste that basically contaminate the seas and cause marine life to die so we have pollution and that's a serious problem both from the land and um, from other water bodies. We have the destruction of mangrove swamps for tourism related development. So fish, um, fish areas or fish breeding grounds are being destroyed or being replaced with tourism related development activities. The fishing industry in the Caribbean is not funded like other industries so this is a major challenge and then a lack of equipment for small scale fishing now some small scale fish fishermen when they go out and they catch fish they don't have the freezing space for to, to preserve the fish right another challenge is the market they don't have the market so it's a bit of a challenge a lot of the time these fishes will spoil on the the, the, the vendors or the fishermen so there's a lot of challenge that is associated with the fishing industry in the Caribbean. Now for your exam, what you need to know, we also, what you need to know is that, <clears throat> know some of the challenges, what are some of the trends, what are the factors that influence location. Um, know some of the, 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 a few of the different types of methods used thank you for watching we are at the end of this video thank you for watching and please remember to like 
share, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these. Leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on. In the comment section below, comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video. Until then, bye!